Amazing Digital Circus Episode 2 just released, and it was awesome. So I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into every character. Let's start by turning this witch into Pomni, the main character of the Amazing Digital Circus. We'll need to replace the witch head and get to work reshaping this hat. Pomni's hat has these two parts, one red and the other one blue. But to make it even more accurate, we'll add the stripes. Pomni also has one red eye and one blue eye that we need to add as well. Let's go ahead and give Pomni her hair coming out of the hat too. Now for the body. These witch arms are not going to cut it, but after some fixing, they're looking quite spicy. Time for the legs. They are basically the same thing as the arms, but you know, leg shape. After some final detailing, Pomni is looking amazing, but let's see how she actually looks in Minecraft. The blue and the red eyes, I have to admit, very creepy. Despite the creepy eyes, Pomni looks relatively <laughs> intriguing and relatively inviting. Pomni will occasionally glitch out and start teleporting around we can see the glitch about to happen and if we get close it happens every single time maybe pomni doesn't want to be friends but maybe she does let's try again no it's not working she glitched come on let's be great great friends oh my goodness she's going faster and fast oh pomni dead but we got a hat let's throw this cute hat on hey it actually looks quite good on us pomni dead oh we can teleport whenever we want teleport Teleport. Uh, small problem though. It is sort of random. Teleport. Oh my goodness, the hat has a mind of its own. Leave me alone. Get this thing off of me. Oh! <gasps> and now we're stuck in the void. But Pommy did look good. Seven out of ten. Now I'm going to turn this creeper into the newly introduced character, Gummy Goo. The creeper face needs to be longer, and we need to fix the creeper body too. That's more like it. Creepers don't have arms, and Gummy Goo does. So let's add those. And don't forget the tail. Obviously, we can't just keep the texture looking like a creeper, so we're going to make him that candy yellow and green texture. The most iconic part of Gummy Goo is that little detective hat. So let's make it. I think he's ready to rock. Let's see how Gummy Goo looks in Minecraft. Gummy Goo looks like an actual gummy bear. More of a gummy lizard, given the tail. Of course, Gummy Goo doesn't want to use his muscles for good. Nobody does. Guy wants destruction and madness. And he's looking for a victim currently. We can see him contemplating, scanning around. I don't know if I should give in to his madness, but let's give him something to taste on. Oh, he found it right away. Oh my golly, that was quick. That wasn't even a partial bite. That was the whole thing. Can it do two at a time? It looks like he's gonna take too much time to notice. Gummy Goo is really anti-intelligent when it comes to identifying the mob he wants to take down. He still hasn't noticed anything. Oh, there he goes. Picked it out and down he goes. I bet you I could intercept this strike. Just grab my diamond sword and get prepared. Down so he hardly notices me. And when the sprint comes, I'll fight back with the might of a thousand dragons. Here come. Oh my gosh. He got me first. That's okay. I can still win. I can still win. I can come out on top potentially. Oh, we did it. We took down Gummy Goo. Huzzah. Next up, we'll turn this husk into Jax. Jax is basically all purple. So we'll make him that color and make his facial features with this yellow. Jax is also a rabbit, so he'll need to have some very long ears and some super long arms. Jax is one tall boy. For his clothes, he has these red overalls and super long red pants, obviously to fit his size. He has yellow gloves on his hands, or maybe those are mittens. Eh, who knows? Either way, Jax is complete and ready to rock. Let's see how he looks in Minecraft. Here we go, Jax. Welcome to the world. Oh my goodness, this boy is big. Big, long ears. That's not the longest part. Jax has to be quick though, because he's so long. Wait a second. Oh my goodness, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> he teleports like crazy. Look at that speed. Where did he go? Let's see what he does if we give him a pig. Here you go, Jax. Bam. Oh, sorry, buddy. No friends for you. If I strategically drop them around so he teleports into them. Well, oh, there it goes. Woo Wait, we got a hat. Don't touch the hat. Do not touch the hat. He hits him so far. Those long arms are packing some heat. Jax is down here dropping item after item, though. Look, we got ourselves Kane's cane. And if Jax isn't willing to listen, then Jax is done. Or not. Yikes. That's not good. Oh, Jax is back up on top and we just barely missed the massacre who's he gonna go to next that pig all the way into the water my goodness you're not gonna survive the next hit you're done buddy the power in those punches is supreme but Jax, i think gets a seven 
0.5 out of 10. Now it's time for everyone's favorite host, Kane. And we'll use a villager to make him. Crush that head and turn it into the base for the comically large mouth. With that shape basically done, we'll get started on Kane's eyes that are also in his mouth for whatever reason. I went ahead and gave him his little top hat just like this and changed the villager arms to be more like Kane's. Now we have to put Kane in his iconic suit and give him a flowing cape. For the best part, Kane's Kane. He is looking fabulous. Let's see how he looks in game. His suit is official and it turned out nicely and Kane's exceptional wand. I mean, his Kane. It has magic powers, of course. Let's get Kane completely. Oh, that is not a pig. That is a pig lint. Bad idea. And see how Kane decides to navigate the situation is take them off the ground so they cannot move. One of these actually he turned upside down, but we could give Kane a friend in instead so he doesn't feel the need to defend himself there's a sheep here's another sheep and another sheep and another sheep and another sheep and another sheep all the sheep are floating up oh my word i look away for two seconds and now everybody's rainbow wool every single sheep has developed an infection i'm gonna have to face cane in hand-to-hand -hand combat and take this grandpa out take your hat and take your cane there we go found the cane i'll turn these sheep back to oh my gosh that's not good at least we're stopping the madness i think now we'll turn this iron golem into the crazy kinger remove that iron golem head and replace it with the king chess piece instead that rhymed odd kinger has these crazy eyes he looks super goofy it's not very good at eye contact but it's time for the body. Kinger basically has this giant purple robe with the cool white fluffy part and these teensy tiny little hands that stick out of the side. I'm not sure if Kinger is actual royalty, but I think I'd be worried if he had any sort of political power whatsoever. Anyways, Kinger is looking good to go. Time to put him in Minecraft. My goodness, the suit, it makes you look much larger than you actually are. Look at those wonky eyes. Those turned out perfect. Everything came together amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. Look at this wobble as Kinger moves along. Oh my gosh. It sort of does look like a chess piece wobbling towards you. Those hands are not real. There's no chance. It's impossible. The hands have to be fake. There's nothing connecting them. Now watch carefully as we witness what happens when Kinger faces the threat of destruction, utter and complete annihilation. Boom, boom, boom. Spinning. Oh my goodness, he's worried. He's so worried, but he's defended himself with a stack of wool. Now, just to be certain that Kinger is still in here. Let's peek in through the top. Hello there, buddy. Of course, now Kinger has secluded himself to isolation for the rest of his life. Wait, he's spinning again. We see an addition. Oh my gosh. Let's go inside this one. It's a double wool house. Oh my. Oh no, I got stuck in the wool now. There's too much danger outside. Nine out of 10. Now it's time to turn this bee into Kane's buddy, Bubble. Bubble is, well, a bubble. So we don't need these bee wings. We'll start with the square shape of the bee and use that to make a spear. Bubble is basically just a ball with a face. So let's get working on the eyes. And it also has a very large mouth with some very sharp teeth. Yikes. Bubble is seen eating basically everything in the show. We'll need to just give some final details, then we'll be set. It's time to see how Bubble looks in Minecraft. Bubble is so teeny tiny, but look at the front. This is what the dentist hopes to see. And trust me when I say, Bubble can put those chompers to good work. Let's give Bubble something to munch on. And we can start off easy with something more edible. There's a nice little piggy, some good ribs, down go. And as Bubble eats, Bubble's gonna get bigger and bigger. Of course, let's add some gum powder to the mix. There you go, Bubble. Munch, another one. Let's add a ton of creepers. Oh, Bubble's growing bigger and bigger and bigger and munching fast. And the mouth is growing as Bubble grows. No, Ooh, we popped Bubble. We've got Bubble in our hand. And now we can eat the mobs. And we spit out a bone. I can munch these creepers faster than they can munch me. Boom, munch, munch, munch. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, get in my belly. To be honest, all that gunpowder is making me feel a little bit ill. I don't know if this is Bubble's way of getting back at us, but it's working. I'm gonna be sick. Let's turn this pig into Princess Lulilalu. Lulilalu, uh, I think. Get rid of that pig head and drag in the princess's head. Now for the eyes. Well, 
one eye and the second eye. Oh, and this little crown too. You know, Madam Royalty after all. For the body, we'll make this giant dress. It is coming from a pig after all. They're big. And now give her both of her arms. You know, for doing things like shaking the hands of commoners. These pig feet are way too tiny. Get rid of them. These pink boots are much better. Perfect. Princess Lulilalu is looking great. But let's see how she looks in game. I thought she was going to be pretty big, but she's much, 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 much bigger. But the blouse is perfect. Everything from the long arms to grab you with and big, long legs. And the princess is going to finally give us some serious order, which I have been craving because there has been death and destruction all day here. Around the prince princess, we can risk it all. The princess is on our team, and she's also going to help us convert anybody that tries to take us down to be on our side as well. And she's giving us flowers. My goodness, a peony, a poppy, another peony. That's not a peony. That's an allium. And we've got Cake. But the real test is not in eating cake, though that does sound mighty delicious. To peace and quiet. Come with me, creepers. Come with me. Follow us this direction and let the princess seduce you into calmness. Every creeper now is on our side and we can safely stand. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to be able to. Princess, friendly. Creepers, not friendly. You only did half the job, Lulilalu. That means you only get half the points. Giving you a two out of ten. Now I'll turn this piglin into Zubal. This one is gonna be wild. Get rid of that piglin head and replace it with a pink triangle. Then add these weird shapes on top. In the show, Zubal has tons of weird parts all over the body. I'm not quite sure what these are, but we're making them. Now for the eyes. There's one droopy one and one large swirly one. The body is going to be difficult, but let's get started. I'll need to change the shape and rotation of basically every body part, making some of them blue and others green like this. Zubal is definitely an interesting mob to recreate in my Craft, but I think I'm getting close after making a ton of different limbs. Zubal even has this claw for a hand and a pink wing on back. With all of that work done on this wacky mob, I think we did it. But let's see how Zubal looks in game. Zubal turned out amazing. The different sizing and texturing of every single portion came together better than I expected. With that claw hand, it looks like Zubal may be ready for the arcade. Though so there's really only one way to test this out. Zubal, come here. Woo! My goodness, that sounded like metal. And Zubal got confused. Of course, I'd be confused as well if my creator decided to test how durable I was. But we must continue. If we hit Zubal, we start to get these sort of arcade sounds. Wait, oh no, that was different. We were getting a question mark and now we're getting... Oh, we did knock a piece off. It sounds like an arcade on the ground. We got Zubal's head. Can we put this thing on? Unfortunately not. But we can use Zubal's head to continue keeping Zubal's memory alive. Every time we use it, we make an absurd amount of noise. We have become arcade. Now let's turn this husk into Ragatha. Get it? Because... <laughs> Cause, Cause husks look like they have rags on them. Yeah, nah, anyways, never mind. Let's get started by turning the husk clothes into a dress shape and make it purple. I'll need to make the arms not look like a zombie like this. Now, finally get rid of that husk face and use it for the base of Ragatha's head. Plop on one button eye and then start the color in the hair with this dark red. Ragatha also has a long curly hair, so I'll use this piece a bunch. Yes, that looks great. Now, to top it off with a purple bow and some patches on the dress. This looks exactly like Ragatha from the show, but I wonder if it's gonna look good in game. The hair looks a tad bit over the top and the face, it turned out a tad bit scuffed. But in totality, everything taken in all at once, Ragatha looks pretty premium. Ragatha's giving all the love in the world and that love doesn't go away. Even if I turn on Ragatha, she's still gonna give out all that love. Look, it doesn't stop. Let's see if we can push it to the limits. Everything I got. Is there any way for us to possibly take her down? Oh, never mind. She turned. We definitely got on her bad side, but not for long. Looks like she decided to go back to her good ways. She doesn't stay angry for long, but also 
It looks like she's pretty invincible. Is there any way for us to possibly take her down? Let me get on this side and put her back towards the land. I've got one last chance to take her down. This is it, folks. For the gold! For the premium! For being on top! Oh my gosh, we did it. Did she drop? Oh no, no regs left. Ragatha's gone forever. And I guess in her memory, we'll give her an 8 out of 10. Sorry, Ragatha. It's time to turn this skeleton into the flimsy gangle. I'll start by taking the skeleton face and using it to make a mask. This will be the sad mask face that Gangle has in the show. And to fit the sad theme, Vlad these teardrops under his eyes. For the body, I'll make super skinny red strings for the legs, and I'll do the same thing for the arms here too. I also had this idea. I'll make a super long part and twist it around and around until it makes a body similar to Gangle. And that is actually looking really cool. Attach it to the back of the mask like this, and I think we're done. Gangle should be complete, but let's see how she looks in game. Oh my word, this turned out amazing. This looks exactly like Gangle. Oh, but look at that happy face. That's not right. Even down to the walking mechanics. Look at those skinny little legs move. The happy face is throwing me off just a tad, but it's also making me feel slightly confident. I don't mind doing this for you, Gangle. Look at us. Great friends. Come on, Gangle. Let's head this direction. Those little ribbon legs can hardly keep up. And I don't know if those ribbons are going to be able to withstand a sharp diamond sword. Let's find out. Woo! Oh no! We made Gangle sad! Oh no! Gangle's running and crying! Look! We can't catch up now! Wait, maybe we can! We can slice again! Boom! Even sadder. This is bad. This is really bad. Maybe if I wait long enough, Gangle will decide to be happy again and we can be friends again? Gangle has disappeared forever. But if you can hear me, Gangle, hopefully it helps. I'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10! 